12 News Eye on Agriculture with Britton Rucker. Historic flooding and damaging farming communities. So why the destroyed crops are raising fears that food prices will go up once again. Plus, as Kansas wraps up wheat harvest, it has many talking about how to control weeds in your wheat field post-harvest. We talk with experts at K-State to walk us through some practices. Good evening and welcome into Ion Agriculture. I'm Britton Rucker. More layoffs are coming to ag equipment maker John Deere. The company announcing another 610 jobs will be cut. The company is saying in a statement, rising operational cost and declining market demand require some changes. Much of the Midwest had historic flooding lately, and that's damaged farming communities, raising fears that food prices will go up. Jonah Kaplan speaks to farm owners in South Dakota where storms swamped soybean and corn fields. You can see water was at least this deep in here. Another day, another cleanup in Union County, South Dakota. This was Dave and Judy Oberg's home on Sunday. Yesterday, they took us inside to see what's left of it. You're going to lose furniture, you're going to lose appliances, but with this house, you're losing a piece of yourself. That's right. It will never be the same. I'm going to this house my whole life. Here's what they could save in this trailer. A box of important documents that includes the deed to all their property, which for generations has been used for farming. This wasn't supposed to be. No, we're not supposed to have a beach here. <laughs> Collectively, Judy and Dave's extended family farms nearly 3,000 acres here. Now, most of their crop is gone before it's fully grown. What's remarkable to think about is that just last week, all of this, hundreds of acres of soybeans, and over here, hundreds of acres of corn. What's also remarkable to consider is how much we Americans depend on these crops. Corn and soybeans aren't just used for food. They're also found in everything from paint and soap to car seats and tires, even ethanol fuel. Agricultural economist Ben Brown. That area tends to be one of our prime growing regions in the United States. I think we could see about a 3 million acre reduction in total in corn and soybeans within Minnesota, South Dakota, and Iowa. Brown estimates the long-term impact on prices will be relatively small as long as other domestic and international producers are able to meet demand. But as climate change makes catastrophic flooding events like this more common across the globe, that's hardly a given. Does this make you think more about climate change? It, it does, yeah. We wonder about it, you know, what, what's going to happen in 100 years or 50 years or 10 years. Farmers do have something called crop insurance, but the farmers we spoke with warn that won't even cover half their losses. Not after already paying for things like fuel, for fertilizer, for seed, for the labor. And there's more rain that could be coming to parts of Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas, putting more pressure on those already swollen rivers that continue to rise. Jonah Kaplan, CBS News, Jefferson, South Dakota. Still ahead on Ion Agriculture with the average food item in America traveling 1,500 miles to reach its destination. A farm in western Kansas thought they could do their part to decrease that average by a lot. We'll introduce you to Hot Spot Farms when Ion Ag returns.